السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل کمپیوٹر ٹیوشن اکیڈمی دس چینل از ٹیپیکلی میڈ فار کمپیوٹر سائنس اسٹوڈنٹس ان پاکستان فرام کلاس سیون ٹو سیکنڈ ایئر ایس ایس سی لیول بیکاز ہیئر وی ول ڈسکس آل دا ٹاپکس اینڈ کانسیپٹس گیون ان دا ٹیکسٹ بکس آف کمپیوٹر سائنس ان پاکستان سو آل آف یو آر ریکویسٹڈ ٹو سبسکرائب مائی چینل اینڈ ڈونٹ ٹو گیٹ ٹو پریس دا بیل آئیکن فار مور اپڈیٹس This is my very first lesson for class 7 students. So here we will start from unit 1 that is hardware basics. In this unit we will uh, define a computer and further we will discuss some of the basic components or hardware components of the computer system like system unit and input and output devices will be discussed in this unit. Okay, introduction and some previous knowledge. First of all, we'll see that how we can define a computer. A computer is an electronic machine that accepts data, stores it, processes it according to the instructions provided by the user and gives us the result to the user. Now here, if we see this definition of computer, it actually reveals the four basic operations performed by the computer system. The first operation that it performs that a computer takes input, takes data as an input. It accepts data as an input. The second function that a computer can perform that it, it is capable of storing the data or information for it. So it can store it. And the third most important function performed by the computer system which is revealed by this definition that it is capable of processing the data which is given to it as an input so processes it according to the instructions provided by the user the instructions means the programs which are used for uh, performing different types of operations over the data and finally it produces the output means the results uh, which which are required by the user and which are the end product of all uh, the processing uh, done by the computer system. So, uh, computer perform uh, these four basic functions that it accepts data, it processes data, it gives output and further it can also store the results or the data and information for future use. So, this is the formal uh, or uh, formal simple definition of computer system that is an electronic machine that accepts data, stores it, processes it according to the instructions provided by the user and gives out the result to the user. Now here uh, further we will also have some introduction of the hardware and software that what is the difference between hardware and software. First of all hardware. All the physical components of a computer are called hardware. Sometimes we used to define hardware as the all as all the tangible components of a computer are called hardware. Sometimes we used to define that all those components of a computer which can be touched are called hardware. So all these definitions of hardware are valid and they are correct. So uh, we can uh, define uh, uh, the hardware components of a computer uh, in all these three uh, different ways. The examples of hardware, so many hardware devices are there like motherboard, processor, hard drive, frame, keyboard, mouse, scanner, monitor, printer, etc. All these are uh, hardware components of a computer system and these are the examples of hardware. Here in this uh, image we can see a computer with all its hardware uh, components like keyboard, mouse, modem, speakers, memory, system unit, hard drive, slo sloppy drive, printer, CD-ROM, monitor, all these are hardware components of the computer system. Now software. Software is the opposite of hardware. All the non-physical components of a computer are called software. We can also define it like all the non-tangible components of a computer are called software. 
Some people used to define it that all those components of computer which cannot be touched are called software. So th these three definitions are valid and correct for defining the software. There are also some uh, examples of software like Windows, we call it operating system, device drivers, productivity software like MS Word uh, or the applications which are which are included in MS Office, etc. We will see media player games, education software, dictionaries, all these different types of software. They fall into the category of software. Further, we can also categorize software into different types, but we will discuss it later on. Here in this image, you can see different types of software like PUBG. PUBG it's a game, but still falls into the category of software. We used to install all these uh, programs or software in our computers so that it can be uh, executed by our computer games are also software operating system also a software uh, antiviruses uh, browsers internet browser like google chrome and internet explorer microsoft office which comprises of many application software used for different purposes and vlc media player all these are different examples of software so all, all the software components are non-tangible and these are the non-physical components of a computer. So uh, the only difference between hardware and software that hardware are physical components and software are the non-physical components of the computer system. Now here we'll see the overall picture of computer system. Like here. A computer consists of two main components that is hardware and software. These are the two essential components of a computer because without hardware a computer cannot exist and without software a computer is a dead device which cannot perform any function. So a computer is useless without software. So hardware and uh, software both are the essential mandatory components of computer system. Further, we can divide or we can categorize hardware into two uh, categories that is system unit and input output devices. This is the overall picture of this first unit given in your book. System unit uh, comprises of uh, these components like motherboard, processor which consists of ALU and CU, hard drive, memory that is RAM and uh, power supply, heat sink, all these components are enclosed inside the system unit. We will discuss it in more detail in the coming uh, slides. Further, there are, there are also some uh, other uh, hardware devices which are outside the system unit. We call it or we use to call these devices as input output devices like keyboard, mouse, scanner, these are input devices, monitor, printer and speaker, these are output devices, but they exist outside the system unit. Still, they are the hardware components of the computer system. In the same way, software can also be categorized into two uh, types, that is system software and application software. System software are the software which are used to operate the computers hardware. This is the simple, uh, simple definition of system software. The software which is used to operate the computer's hardware is called system software. On the other hand, application software is the software which is used to perform specific tasks or functions by the user. So there are some types of system software as well as application softwares like for example operating system. This is the main example of system software. Uh, without operating system, uh, our computer is useless and it cannot perform any function. It's just like a soul for the human body. So operating system is the soul of the computer system. Device drivers, they are used to operate specific hardware devices with our computer. Language processors are also a type of system software like assemblers, compilers and interpreters. These are the mm, different types of language processing softwares uh, which also fall into the category of system software. Further, utility softwares are also examples of system software and they are the type of system software, utility software like disk, uh, disk cleaner, disk defragmenter, 
image viewer all these are different types of utility software which are used uh, for the management of the computer system or uh, which perform functions related to the management of the computer uh, hardware further uh, in application software uh, or, or some productivity software are there like in ms office microsoft word is used for uh, producing documents so that is also a productivity software and entertainment softwares are also there like media players games all these are different types of application software educational softwares are also there like dictionaries and some other uh, uh, software which are used uh, in for educational purposes they also uh, a type of uh, application software so this is the overall picture of this uh, unit we will be discussing all these uh, things inside the uh, uh, in this uh, unit so in the coming slides we will just uh, discuss the system uh, unit and later on in the coming lessons we will discuss the other components uh, or other topics given in this unit now introduction in this unit the students will learn about the hardware basics as they are electrical electronic and mechanical devices make up the computer system the processor cpu alu memory ram and rom expansion slots and expansion cards etc are all hardware components of the computer system processor is actually uh, comprises of or it consists of two main components that is cpu and alu cpu stand for control unit and alu stand for arithmetic logic unit further different types of memories are there in the computer system the main types are ram and rom random access memory and read only memory further we will also discuss expansion slots and expansion cards and why they are used inside the computer system what are their function all these things will be discussed in this unit here in this uh, picture you can see that this is the system unit we call it case or computer casing it can it encloses all these uh, components inside this uh, casing or inside this system unit uh, most of the components they are connected to the main board or the motherboard and the motherboard along with all these components is enclosed inside this casing or system unit <coughs> further uh, there are some other uh, hardware devices uh, uh, which are categorized as input and output devices like monitor speaker keyboard mouse so these devices will also be discussed in this unit this unit mainly deals with the basic system the students will also know about the new technologies like barcode reader reads barcode containing information about an item fingerprint reader reads fingerprint of a human for identification nowadays these uh, technologies are used throughout the world uh, uh, um, for different purposes barcode readers are mostly used in shopping malls to read the barcodes given on the products to get their information like price and name of the product and the company which manufactures the product all that information can be uh, read um, by the barcode reader and further fingerprints are also used uh, uh, most of mostly uh, for uh, identification purposes and for security purposes so uh, these technologies will also be discussed in this unit now first system unit the system unit is the base unit of computer system it is a case housing or housing the motherboard cooling fans power supply expansion cards slots processing and storage devices etc as i told you that this is the box we call it a system unit or a a case which houses all these 
components inside it which encloses all the compon components inside it along with the motherboard the components are connected to the motherboard inside this system unit like cd uh, dvd rom hard disk video card uh, sound cards motherboard ram all power supply cooling fan processor all these components are enclosed inside the system unit normally uh, people used to call this whole box as cpu but this is wrong technically it is called casing or system unit cpu is only that microprocessor chip which is uh, attached on top of the motherboard uh, and which performs all the functions of the computer system this is the brain of the computer system and it consists of two components that is cu and aalu we call it cpu central processing unit or we can also call it microprocessor so <clears throat> this is wrong we cannot uh, call the whole box as cpu this is called system unit The system unit properly labeled is shown in the figure. So here you can uh, see the picture of system unit and the components which are enclosed inside it. Okay, uh, students, that's it for today. This was your first lesson uh, in which we uh, uh, introduced uh, this unit and further we discussed some of the basic things uh, like software and hardware what is the difference between software and hardware further we discussed uh, or we uh, saw uh, the basic uh, components of the computer system and in the coming lessons we will discuss all these different types of uh, hardware devices given in your book in more detail uh, according to the topics given in the book so if you have any question or any confusion in these uh, topics uh, in your mind, so you can ask me uh, in the comments. Feel free to ask any related question to the topics and I will try my best to answer all of your questions. At the end, I, will, uh, I, I would request all of you to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for uh, more updates. Thanks a lot. Take care. Allah Hafiz.